everyone welcome this is Christmas magic by Ruth Sanderson you've seen this book a lot on my channel um, I got a compliment on my bricks I showed on this page with a suggestion of maybe showing a how-to so I thought I would just quickly go over some brick basics there are tons of different ways you can do bricks tons of different colors you can do bricks tons of in between brick colors so it really depends on what color you're going for what look you're going for but I'm just gonna show you how I just quickly basically colored those ones so I used Prismacolor I used Tuscan Red and Burnt Ochre and what I did is I went around the edges with my Tuscan Red darker on the edges even darker where the shading is and I made sure I rounded out the edges, no rough edges. So I will do a few of these just so you can see this style. And it's really up to you how you want them to look. Do one more right here in the middle and then I can do a different style beside it. Maybe that'll make it easier to compare. So those are my rounded bricks. And then I take this, and I don't want to burnish on these ones. I will show you a burnished version, and it will be up to you which ones you like. But for now, I just want the rough-looking brick. So that is all I did to those ones. Easy peasy. And then I forgot to sharpen this pencil. Hold on one second. And then to give it the 3D effect... I just went along the bottom and up one side and you want to do it on the same side no matter which side you pick you want to keep it the same and that just gives it like it's lifted a little when we add the other background so I will show you a burnished brick in case you are interested in wanting to see that so same process, I want to do darker on the edge and then I want to small circles all the way around the inside. Then I want to take this burnt ochre color and just make sure I blend it. And then even you could add, this is an Arteza and it's tiny because I've used it for everything this Christmas season, a camel brown. And just kind of add a little highlight color in there. Blend it out. Artezas and Prismas work really well together. So they are a bit dustier though. So there's that kind of brick. For the outer edges, I tend to go darker. Following the brick lines. I'm going to add my black under this one. Then I'm going to add gray, and this is my 70% cool gray. And you can do any combination of gray you want. You can do tan. So I will show you this one is 50%. So if you want this to be, you can go like that. If you want to go one more lighter for contrast, this is my 30% cool gray. I just kind of fill in here and there with it just to give it some dimension. Not everything looks the same color all the time. The most important thing to remember is that you add your black in. And then if it kind of rubs your red and makes your red look a little smeared you can always fix it let's see we can always go for more of a brownish brick so if you can go brown and you want to have that fuzz Kind of give it that gradient look. 
And then we will go back to this Arteza. So if you want a brownish brick, that's an option. Um, let's see, I will do... This is not my favorite color combination. Four bricks. But if you're looking for a really red sort of theme for your bricks, this is a Scarlet Lake Prisma. And they and I would still, even if you decide to use this Scarlet, I would still go back and add a little of this just to kind of give it a little bit of a brownish texture. And then it's up to you whether you want to burnish or not. So, I think that is the basics on bricks. Uh, I know you can do gray bricks if you want. Their grays are usually used more for stones, but I will do a quick one just to show you. They could be a cool effect on certain pages if you're into that kind of thing. That was my black. These are my cold grays. French grays make really pretty stonework if you have Prisma. I don't have a lot of brands of pencils to know what the other colors are in other sets, but you can compare them and find what matches. There's a black one. And I burnished that one just to give it kind of a smoky, dusty look. There's that one. Let's see what other colors I have real quick. So I have a dark brown. You still might want to add Tuscan Red to this one. For some reason to me, bricks just look kind of weird straight brown. They don't look bricky to me. I'm going to add a little of the burnt ochre. So that the next color has something to blend. And then back to my coyote. This color, this coyote brown, is fairly close to the goldenrod in Prismas, but I've used all my goldenrod. Maybe for birthday or Christmas, Santa will bring me another one. So there's a brownish kind of brick. So that is basically, and no matter the color, even if I do this brick black, still going to go back over my edge. Make sure I'm on camera here, sorry. And I'm going to make sure that that bottom is black. And then I am going to go either a brown in between them, like you could do a brown in between the bricks, or your light gray. So it's really up to you the effect you're going to go for. I'll show you these ones with the color. Trying to give it that so you can see what it looks like with the background around it. So that is just my real quick basic rundown on bricks. Like I said, feel free to just take the basic tips and twist them and turn them to whatever works for you. One other thing, let me sharpen this. You need a super fine tip for this. Oh, sorry, bumped the camera. But when you get your brick done, however you would like it, the little notches they put in there, you want to go back and make darker. So it just kind of looks like that brick has just a little bit of life to it. So same thing on this one, just kind of 
And if you don't want to follow their lines, you could just do the dashes. Just a couple dashes here, a couple dashes there. This one obviously is not going to work. So if you do the darker red like that, then you can take the darker brown. Well, I might need a darker brown still. But the you just want to make sure that you put in your... Because bricks aren't perfect. So I thank you for watching. Questions, comments, leave them down below. And I will see you next video.